Hi, I'm Mark Richardson with the Case Institute of Remodeling, and welcome back to our series titled Change or Become Irrelevant. If you're not changing in business today, it will become irrelevant. And if you think about that, as a leader in the remodeling industry, becoming irrelevant is like the ultimate insult. So in this series, we've talked about how the environment changes. We talked about marketing approaches, and today I want to get into some of the sales strategies. Now, sales strategies are a direct response to how your client has changed and what you've done in terms of marketing. Now, the best way to think about this subject is to look at things, take a snapshot of things five to seven years ago versus today. I know you're not seeing the same results as you were in the past, but there is a reason. Five to seven years ago, you had, in many cases, a sales process. Oftentimes, it was very dogmatic. It was the same thing over and over, and part of your mastery was as a result of doing that sales process over and over. Today, you need to be flexible, you need to be creative, you need to be thinking out of the box. Today, you need to be a hunter and not just a farmer when it comes to sales strategies. Oftentimes, some of the top salespeople back five, seven years ago are not the top salespeople today. And it's oftentimes because they have not adopted some of the change that's required based on this new environment. A second area as you think about sales strategies is five to seven years ago, for the most part, most selling was done in solo. Most selling was done between one person and the client. Very efficient and very effective. Today, on the other hand, you need to adopt team selling strategies. Now you think about this subject for a minute. If you want to differentiate yourself from the pack, if you have two people versus one, you're different. If you want to approach the client with a little bit more sincerity and more depth, two people are always better than one. You can do this not only with another salesperson, but also with one of your strategic alliances. But if you want to see your close rate go up, start to adopt a team selling strategy and not just a solo selling. A third element I want to touch on is five to seven years ago, you could focus primarily on what you were selling. If you were selling a kitchen, if you're selling an addition, if you're selling windows. Today, you need to focus not only on the what you're selling, but also how the client is buying. In some cases, your client wants to do more design and feasibility studies before they actually dive into the project. In some cases, they want to opt towards more of a cost plus relationship. In other cases, they're buying more a la carte rather than the complete meal. So if you start to pepper in focusing in sales strategies on how they're going about buying and not just what they're buying, you're going to see your close rate go up dramatically. So in closing, if your sales strategies have not dramatically changed, you probably are not seeing the kind of results that you want. The key today is increasing your close rate. You're not going to increase your project size as dramatically as you could in the past. But if you can get that close rate up an extra 10%, you're going to see dramatic improvement to the bottom line. Take care, everyone.